Hey, good afternoon, everyone. Oh, let me pull up. Here I am in Sprouts parking lot because when I get done calling you up, I plan to go in there to look for some fruit. I have on my cooling neck towel, one of them, that Jeannie Butterflies Dreams Crochet had sent me. Um, maybe four or six of them. I forget, but I use them, Jeannie, especially when I'm out there with those chickens. Well, where have I been? What has happened? Yesterday, I did not make my, <clears throat> my short video that I've been doing called Something Every Day Till 2K because I just couldn't. I was just flat, worn out exhausted i'm constantly going out to the chicken yard to change their water even though i put um i freeze a bottle of water and i put that in the water dispenser and i freeze fruit and you know scraps and throw those out for them for little frozen treats it's just i worry about the water if it's getting um too warm or too hot for them so I'm constantly going out to check then I'm bringing in the water canisters and rinsing them out and putting fresh water and carrying those back out to the chicken yard um, now what I could do is just take them all over to my fence and then go around my trailer and use the hose to fill them then I wouldn't be lugging them in and out but the um, the hose get so hot from being on that concrete and out in the sun that it's just hot boiling water that comes out of that hose except for early in the morning when I fill the goslings pool it's not hot it's like a uh, room temperature water it's not really cold because it's been so hot here in Texas um, all day that when the nighttime comes because it's been hot all day the ground doesn't have time to cool off before the morning comes and that sun comes out and today the high is supposed to be 107 and even hotter tomorrow so god help us and so that's has worn me out and then also you know my silkies are in that metal dog kennel well that thing is heavy and I have to pick it up and um, move it all around the chicken yard. Every time the sun moves, I'm moving that thing so that they're not in the sun. And finally yesterday, it really hurt my back and my bad shoulder. And so um, today I'm gonna get some rope from the Dollar Tree and I'm gonna tie it to that kennel. And what I'll do is when I, when I move it into the shade, I will, take out their water so it don't spill and then I'll just be pulling it which will be better be like pulling a sled in the snow if any of you know anything about that I do from being born and raised in Massachusetts oh those winters especially when I was a kid and I had one of those uh, sleds that had um, wood on top and then those sharp blades and uh, I used to have to wax those blades with a, a thing like this of beeswax. My grandfather taught me how to do it. That was to keep those blades nice and slick and boy would it go fast down a hill, but no fun pulling that sled up a hill. And so anyway, um, pulling the dog kennel with the silkies, it will be like that, but it will be much better than me trying to lift it. I'm worried about well, I'm worried about really hurting my back, but also, you know, if my spinal cord goes into spasms or if my arm lets go, I would let go of that kennel. And so it's, this is going to be better. Um, and yesterday I took a really bad fall down my four steps that are in front of my trailer. The thing is, the morning is so chaotic with my fur babies, the two dogs, mostly the chihuahua. Um, when I'm heading out that door to go let those chickens out, that chihuahua is underfoot. And yesterday she tripped me and down those stairs I went and I'm bruised on the right side here. 
Um, oh, what a nice breeze. It has already turned black and blue and so sore. And this is my good arm. Oh, but I want to tell you, show you, I'm late showing you this. Uh, this came probably two weeks ago. This very nice postcard of Idaho. Look at those mountains. And this is from our Lori Lee. And um, it says, Idaho hiking, floating on a river, or riding horses is the only way to visit many of the wilderness areas in Idaho. And she put on the back, this is one of the scenes I get to enjoy in Idaho. I love nature and never get tired of experiencing it. Isn't that beautiful? So I'm sorry, Laurie Lee, that um, I'm so late showing that. I also got some squares for my blanket for my add-on room. You know, I've been collecting squares. And I got a really nice coffee cup from um, the person that made and sent me the squares. But they want to remain anonymous. So I respect that. But I, I need to show those too. And I will. Um, oh, my car is fixed. Not the air conditioning, but the um, coils. For the spark plugs i told you how my car was misfiring and i really took a chance going anywhere in the car and i didn't go far but um was able to find the parts for a coil pack on amazon for 31 something 31 dollars and something which is so much cheaper than one coil was 64 dollars a couple weeks ago at the part store when i had to buy one um, then that week, if you remember, my car was acting up. I had to cancel cardiologist appointment and I went to AutoZone and they put the code thing on the car and checked and then it was misfiring in number four. Um, so I, someone had told me, look on Amazon. Well, I don't have an Amazon account. So I asked the landlord and he looked and he found it and he was nice enough to order it for me. And it came in yesterday, so he came by and dropped it off, and I paid him. And then my mobile mechanic friend just happened to be in Wiley, where I live, this morning, working on another friend's car. And he texted me and said, I'm in town. Do you need me to come look at your car still? So I said, that'd be great, because the parts just came in yesterday. So he came this morning, and he put the um, he put all four in. I think I was in the trailer when he did it and then he left and I didn't get to talk with him but I think he might have taken out the brand new one the number three and um, I have the box here with all of them but I can't tell which is good and which is bad but the point is is I will have one brand new one either way because two weeks ago I bought a brand new one and um, I can't return it because he bought it on his business account to save me some money that day. And and like he said, uh, well, we might as well just hang on to it. Now, I don't know if my car will ever need it. I think uh, all those coil packs were the originals of this car. But anyway, I'm thankful that I was able <clears throat> to get that done. And he didn't charge me. Uh, a whole whole lot you know to to do that he has to charge something because that's his you know what he does on the weekends and um, and it's the convenience of having a mechanic come to you and he's someone that has a very good name and uh, I trust him he's done lots of work for me on the car that I had before this and he's done repairs on this car and so He's cheaper than any garage, that's for sure. So that's fixed, and I don't know if before summer's over I'll get this um, motor blower part to fix the air conditioning, the heating, and the defrost. We're in August now, and in September it starts to get like in the 80s and 90s, which is a big difference than these triple digits. 
So I've made it this far without the AC and I don't care much about the heater, but I do need the defrost and um, that one part controls all three of those functions. So um, there was no sense in spending money on the motor blower before getting the coil pack because without the coil pack, without those new coils um, for those spark plugs to go in, the car just kept misfiring. And so the car, it wasn't making that connection in the ignition. And so the car eventually could have just shut off while I was driving, like stopped at a stop sign or red light. It could have just cut off or I could have made it to some place and then when I come back in my car to start up and go, it could have just never started. And then you're talking about a uh, tow because my mobile mechanic isn't always available. You know, he has a family and he has a regular full-time job. And so it made more sense to spend the money on the four brand new coil pack plus the labor and now try to save up for the motor blower which I don't think is very expensive. And I know the God, that, um, that God's gonna help me with that because it is a need. Now hopefully in Sprouts I can find some good fruit at a reasonable price. Last week I bought some um, peaches at Sprouts and I bought some grapes at Kroger and the grapes, they turned bad, you know, just in a couple days. Um, I don't know what is happening. I don't know. Ugh, that bruise just, <laughs> for some reason that black and blue just started throbbing. Well, that's a nice Jeep. Hmm. Other than that, everything is good. And I will try to make my um, something every day short video today. I'll try to do two today, one for yesterday and one for today, but I don't know. Because one reason is they're really not getting a whole lot of views and getting hardly any comments, but they are fun to do. I, I still plan to do them. I don't have it in my mind to not do them. Um, they take no time to do a short. So we'll see. Uh, guess this is it. Not a very long calling you up video, but it's a little update. I'm going to let you go. I hope you have a... Oh. Ooh, excuse me. <laughs> I hope you have a great day. Tomorrow's Sunday. Tomorrow's church. Tomorrow is my Sunday to teach the kids. And we'll just see what God has planned. I'm thinking of a, um, a song that said, There's no telling what God can do if you believe. Um, it says, there's no telling what God can do if you believe. He'll heal your body. He'll save your soul. He'll make you happy, so free and whole. There is no telling what God can do if you believe. That's an old chorus we used to sing in church back in the day. And it's true. All right, I'm going to get in sprouts. It doesn't look like there's many people shop in there today or at Michael's. This is the plaza that I usually call you up in. And um, people are probably just so hot. Now that is strange. I wish I could show you. There's a pickup truck and the lady was carrying a bag and she was also carrying, she came out of Michael's she was carrying, um, it looked like a piece of foam board, you know, really big. And she stood in front of her truck, in front of the pickup truck, and the hood went up. And I was watching her lay that piece of foam board down, and I'm thinking, why is she putting a piece of foam board over her engine, or over the battery, or over the, um, 
what are those things called like serpentine belt then she puts the bag in there too and she's laying it down so the hood must be the what would be the trunk it's coming this way if I let me see it's a Ford a Ford light thing is the name of the truck I don't know where would her engine and battery and all that stuff be if she's putting stuff in her hood using it as a trunk hmm the things you see in parking lots well like I say I'm gonna go have a great day I'll try to get up a couple videos later oh I do want to show those squares in that coffee mug from that anonymous person and thank you for those things and also thank you Lori Lee for this great postcard I'm gonna pin it up on my on my bulletin board all right remember to be kind to everybody because somebody's having a bad day